How's it going, guys? Dragast here, and welcome to Tiny Rails. This is a game we're going to check out today that was recently released. It's actually been out for a while on phones, but uh, was recently released on Steam. You guys have actually asked that I play it for a while now, and uh, yeah, it's said to be kind of like turmoil. Uh, I know you guys love that, so we're going to check it out today and see what it's all about. I don't know too much about it. I know we're running a train and we're earning money with that train, so let's get right into it. Start a new game here and see what it's all about. It looks absolutely fantastic. I love the art style, so I'm excited so far. And uh, yeah, we got some nice deer here. Looks like we're going to our first train station with our little tiny adorable train. Uh, and yeah, I'm assuming we're gonna be in a tutorial here. Oh, hey, Grandpa! Well, the day is finally here. Can you believe it? I feel like I've been waiting for ages for you to join me at my little train company. I'm, not, I'm joining Grandpa? I'm totally ready for that. I'm not as young as I used to be. Having some family around will make things easier and much more fun. Aw, oh, Grandpa, you look just adorable. This old fella is going to take a rest. Let me introduce you to the conductor, Valerie. She'll show you the ropes. All right, hey, Valerie. That's a good looking old lady. I gotta be honest here. Hey there, what an exciting day for you. It's going to be fun to have a new boss. I'm your boss already? That was easy, all right. The easiest way to make money is to carry passengers. I like how I'm the boss and she's telling me how to make money in my own fucking business. This is great. Let's head up the line to the next station and pick up some paying customers, all right? Yeah, I guess we're just on our way. Looks like we're going from Livingston, New York to Morristown, New York. So I didn't know it was actually in the United States. Uh, fun fact, the developer of this game actually lives in London, Ontario, where I live. The only game developer that I know that lives here. So I thought that was pretty cool, and I figured I'd give them a little love, a little local love. Uh, for tiny rails. All right, welcome to Morristown, NY. Great job, now that we have some folks on board, let's take a look at the passenger list. Okay, we can do that. We got eight people on board. Passengers will pay for fares on arrival, keep them happy with entertainment or food, and they may even pay a little bit extra. Pay attention to what your passengers say in the reviews for some hints on making their trips more enjoyable. So we get feedback from the passengers, we make them happy, and we make their money. Is that Donald Trump? I see D-O, I gotta assume that's Donald Trump. All right, let's drop these folks off at the next station. All aboard. All right, and yes, that's definitely Donald Trump. So let's try and figure out who all these people are after. That should be fun. All right, so I guess we're going. I, th I thought we were, oh yeah, we picked up the people here. And now on the next one, which is Denville, New Jersey, we're gonna be dropping them off. So uh, yeah, okay. this, is, this is nice, you know? There's not much to this game so far. It is a, a phone game after all, so I don't think it's gonna be too in-depth and we're not gonna be doing too, anything too crazy, but I love relaxed games like this where I can just chill, talk with you guys, and we can have a good time making a train empire here. So here's our first stop. Hopefully the people are happy. I don't even know if I was supposed to be doing anything there. Oh, I just got money, all right. Nice work, we made our first bit of gold. All gold received from paying passengers goes directly into the train's caboose. To collect the gold, just click on the caboose. Why don't you give it a try? Now, I already accidentally clicked it, so... Well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> Great work! The gold vault can only hold so many coins, so be sure to collect your gold regularly. Now, let's put those gold coins to good use by upgrading our train. Okay, so we get to upgrade it now. This is the fun part. Upgrades will allow you to earn more gold, increase your speed, or allow your train to carry more cars. Let's use some of our gold to buy our first speed upgrade. All right. I'm fine with that. Max speed increase. There we go. Fantastic. Now we'll be able to get to gas stations faster and earn more gold more quickly. Our passengers are getting a little restless. Let's make our way to the next station. All right. Hold on. Hold on. I'm just going to learn the game. You know, first day on the job here. Bear with me here. I'm not going to be the fastest or the best. But, uh, yeah, looks like we're definitely going a little bit faster now. So I'm wondering if we go through, like, the tiers of trains. We're already at the next place. I love how quick this is. Now that we've earned more gold, let me show you the gumball machine. What? Okay. The gumball machine is our primary way of earning new cars. It's got to be a pretty damn big gumball machine, man. I know that sounds weird. Yes, okay, we're, we're on the same page at least. But who am I to question the science? Let me show you how it works. All right, bring it on, gumball machine. On the left, you see how many cars are available at this rank. Once you acquire all the cars for this rank, you'll be able to buy a new caboose and engine. Okay, so we got to get cars, and then once we get all these cars on the left, we get bigger and better trains. After you complete a set, the machine will rank up, and you'll have brand new cars to collect. All you need to do is spend a bit of gold, click that roll button, and leave the rest to Lady Luck. All right, here we go, rolling it up. 
Roll for something good. I'm clicking it. What the? Okay, goddamn. I had to click like three times. All right, give me something good though. I want the R one, whatever that means. Okay, looks like a Pokeball. That's a good start. And we got the Old West food car. All right, well, I didn't get one of the R ones, but that's fine. Awesome. The first car of the set is the Old West food car. Food and entertainment cars can generate us more gold as we travel the rails. Whenever you have some gold, be sure to come back to the machine to earn more cool cars. I'm liking this. I like how simple it is, but it's definitely very well done as well. All right, now that we have a new car, let me show you how to equip it to the train. All right, I'm assuming we just, like, drag it. I'm trying to judge ahead of time. Okay, yeah, we can definitely drag it. This is the train editor here. You can view your car collection and customize your train to suit your playstyle, yada, yada. Let's add the old west car to a train. To add a car, drag it, drop it anywhere. Okay, I'm definitely going to forget what these things do. Does it explain them? It gives them stats, but it doesn't explain which each one does. Now, I'm assuming it's got food on it, so it should be pretty easy to understand the differences. Great job. Notice the stats up at the top. Cars will affect the cargo, passenger capacity, train weight, and customer happiness. Be careful not to let your train get too heavy. Excess weight will slow you down by half. Okay, so what's the weight? Uh, you can increase your weight limit and car capacity of your train in the upgrade menu. All right, well, that's pretty cool. Okay, it's still on a tutorial here. I just wanted to read that. I mean, can I go back and do... Oh, God damn it, we're leaving. Okay. Uh, I wanted to go back and look at the trains, but I guess we can. So we got the food car, and then... Oh, yeah, don't forget to grab the money. We got to remember that. So this is kind of like a very complex clicker game. That's what I'm getting at right now. All right, next spot, Livingston and NY. Weren't we already here? So did we go all the way around already? Grandpa's back, so you've proven yourself the worthy addition to the, a worthy addition to our family. I feel like you're going to take on this little company to the next level. I was going to wait to give you this, but I think you've earned it. Here's the deed to the ownership to my train company. Boy, man, I've been recording for eight minutes and I own a train company now. God damn, I, and this is a good day for me. Why don't you name it? Give it your own personal touch. Okay, Gramps, I'll name this for you. This indenture made this 24th day of August 2017. The, what, 2017? And we're using an old steam train? All right, well, whatever. The transfer of the ownership of the train company, Draytards Express, from grandpa to his grandchild. From here on out, this train company is in full ownership of the sole proprietor of the written document. Gramps, thanks Gramps. All right, Dirty Birdie. What? Dirty Birdie? Why, why? What, I, I can't use Draytards? Come on, it's, it's got a filter. Why? This is an offline game. It's not like I'm going to bother. It's not even a bad word. Now we can do shit we'd express at this point. So, uh, yes, uh, this game, uh, clearly this is too family friendly for my channel. How about Dre on Rails? Because that sounds just weird. So we'll confirm that. I guess that's good. Dre on Rails. That has a nice ring to it. I have a really good feeling about this. Well, thanks, Gramps. You didn't like the other two I fucking did. New area unlocked. The East Coast of USA. You're just about ready to handle things on your own for a little while. Well, I have one last thing to show you. The logbook. The logbook holds all kind of information, including quests and a wide variety of jobs that you can take on. Your first quest is to visit my friend Lance in New York City. Let's open up the map and plan our route. All right. This map will let you know where your train is at all times and where it's going. This is cool, man. I'm liking this game so far. Let's set up our next stop to New York City by creating a waypoint. First, click on New York City Station, then click on the waypoint button to the destination. All right. So we click that. And we set waypoint. Aren't we already there? We're ready to leave for New York. When we arrive, I'll introduce you to my friend. All right, well, let's do this. From now on, just click the depart button on the right side of your screen when you're ready to leave. So we can depart over here. Let's just sit here for a second and figure everything out. So we got 31 gold right now. I think we need 50 to get a new car. So it's not like we're going to get any good upgrades right now. Mind you, can we upgrade? Oh, we can upgrade. So how about... Current cap is four. I kind of want to upgrade our passengers. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. We'll just go down the list. That's probably the best idea anyways. All right, so let's depart. I think we're pretty good. What, 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 what does that mean? I don't even know what that means. Okay, let's collect our money, though, before I forget. Uh, I'm going to definitely forget that many of times, by the way. Just warning you guys. Oh, Valerie, what's up? I forgot to mention a couple of things. For starters, cars will gain experience while you have them equipped to your train. When they gain enough, you can level them up, improve their stats, and the gold they earn. What, what Are these like train cart Pokemon? This is the greatest thing ever. The downside is that your cars will also take a bit of wear and tear, 
while you're out on the rails. They can get dirty and even damage while they're in use. All right. Hey, don't worry. You can repair and clean your cars at any time as long as you have enough gold. Let me show you. Okay, I thought you said we were done, lady. Oh, uh, yeah, this one ain't looking too good, Valerie. First, let's tackle durability repairs. Click on the wrench button and click on any car with a wrench icon above it. Now, let's make these cars sparkle. Clearly, yada, yada, yada. I understand now. We got to clean it, make sure it's okay. We'll mop it up. I wonder what happens if we let the durability go to zero. Do we lose all our train? That would be great. Do we have a derailment? That would be great. Excellent. That car looks a lot better. Don't forget to regularly keep up on our cars maintained. Dirty or damaged cars will slow our train's progress and prevent passengers from boarding. I love New York. There's just so much to see and do. Here's my friend now, right on time. Meet Lance, one of the best accountants on the East Coast. What's up, Lance? Am I actually going to meet you? Yes, I am. It's Lance. Nice to meet you. I hear you're taking our over your grandpa's company. There are all sorts of ways I can help you out. For starters, I can help you adjust your ticket prices from the service window. I'll even give you advice. All right, Lance, let's see what advice you're going to give me. If you've upgraded and maintained your car consistently, passengers will be more likely to pay more for a ride with you. Passengers love to see rare and special cars, too. Make sure you get the new cars from the gumball machine often it's just good business try experimenting with ticket prices the more you improve your train the more money we could make all right so is that it great lance is on board don't forget to collect your quest from the reward logbook okay so we're good people seem happy that's good oh we have a trainery uh just to see how many different things are in this game my God. Okay, this is a pretty big game, guys. <laughs> I didn't expect that. That is crazy. If you guys like this, there might be a lot of content on this one. Quest complete, so let's go do that real quick. Collect the reward of 125 buckaroonies. That's pretty good. Okay, so we got uh, achievements we can do, which give us rewards. Moments. Moments are special events you'll find while you travel. Capture them to earn rewards. Okay. Secrets are fun. Hidden Easter eggs. Wow, there's there's a lot of stuff in this game, clearly. All right, first roll. Let's get one of those golden ones. Those got to be the rare ones. Yes! Yes! I don't know why I'm getting so excited. I don't even know if it's a rare one, but yes, we got the rare park car. Whatever the hell that means, I'm assuming they can play in the park while they're on their train. Isn't that adorable? Okay, so that's obviously going to help out a lot. I really wish it gave me more information regarding each card, or if there was like an information menu or something. All right, let's do one more, though. Maybe we can get the other rare. Come on, let me see a golden one. All right, we got the Pokeball. That's okay. We'll get something good out of it. Watch. Uh, yellow passenger car. Not too bad. Plus two passengers when using yellow diesel engine. And caboose. Okay, I don't think we got yellow right now, but, uh, okay, that's good to know. Yeah, if we go to here, it might... Oh, no, it actually doesn't say anything, so this one has a perk. This one actually doesn't have a perk, but she said people like rare cars, so we're definitely gonna put this one on there just because it looks weird. Let's put it... Oh, yeah, the caboose. We can't put it past the caboose, so we'll put it up in the front. All right, so this is pretty cool, though. So we have the cabooses, the carts, and then the engine itself. All right, so let's plan out our path here. You can buy stations. Uh, buy to start receiving additional bonuses from this station. Okay, so there's a lot more going on here, as you can see. You can even do cargo, it looks like. So we start with passengers, but we might get into cargo later on. Anyways, the next quest is to go to Baltimore. So we're going to set that waypoint and venture on. On that way it looks like we got three different stops to do beforehand all right so let's depart people are happy and getting on what do we got we got 7.8 does that does that mean people i am gonna have to get used to these stats because uh they are a little bit confusing we'll learn as we go here yeah we currently have eight passengers so traveling to trenton fares are 20 everybody seems well uh, ouch, my back. These seats could be more comfortable, so a little bit of complaining about that. Does everyone complain, or is it just one guy? It looks like it's just one guy, but there we, we, we know we could increase our seats then. Only gave us two out of five stars. That's not too good. It looks like we're stopping at the next... Ooh, or not? We're not stopping at a station. Am I supposed to hit this? Okay, there we go. Free stuff. Whew, that was some hard work. We should work. We should be able to sell cargo and make some gold. Let's get to the station and I'll show you how. All right, so now we're going to learn how to do cargo as well. So it's not just people. It's cargo as well. That's really cool. And look at this backdrop. This looks just like New York. This is awesome. Oh, we got another one in the way. Let's grab those as well. What's up, Chief? My name's Hank. We do the best to keep these tracks clear. What's up, Hank? Every once in a while, you might find the tracks blocked. That's where my TNT comes in. Okay. Uh, I've added my track clearing to your services list. If you've got the gold, flip the switch and I'll clear obstacles automatically. 
Uh, I think I can do it. I think I should be okay. Most employees also offer passive services that improve as you level them up. How do you level them up, you ask? The job board. Did somebody mention jobs? I've got some leads on a bunch of odd jobs you can do for people all around the world. Let me show you how to take on a few jobs for a few extra gold. You guys are showing me a lot in this first episode, man. All right, so here we go. Jobs. You can accept them to 10 jobs at a time. For now, let's just start with one. Let's let's just start with one. That sounds a little bit overwhelming. All right, clear the track of all obstructions. I'll do that for you, good old Hank. I think that's Hank anyways. That looks like a fun job. If jobs you choose include specific destinations, you'll see them marked on the world map. Very convenient. The sooner you finish the job, the sooner we get that golden cheddar. I'll keep my ear to the ground to find us more jobs to do. All right, so we got jobs now. We got the quest to go to Baltimore. We're doing a little bit of everything. Looks like, wow, we got a ways to go this time. We're, I feel like we're going slower. Are we, are we having weight issues? Hard to tell, doesn't really stay, say, I don't really, okay, we can actually look at these stats. So this is comfort, this is food, max passengers, weight, and max speed. So obviously this one's pretty heavy, might be affecting us, uh, but at least we can understand the differences now. Comfort on this one's only two, so we definitely wanna increase our comfort if we can. Mind you, I don't think we're gonna have a very comfortable train at the start. All right, I don't know why it's so blue right now, but uh, I think it's just nighttime. We're almost there. Looks like we're just about to slow down a little bit. Three kilometers out. I swear this has, has slowed down quite a bit. Now, what is this? This is, oh, this is my cargo. So this is what I found on the railway tracks. Nothing like a good railway salmon. Gotta love that. And strawberries? Yeah, I don't I don't think I'd be eating railway salmon, man. Hey, it looks like this market is selling apples for less than the going rate. We should buy some to see if we can make a profit later on. So you can merchant as well. Uh, how do you know the going rate? Is it just... Am I, am, I, am I missing something here? You're really getting the hang of these things. I'm impressed. Thanks, man. Feel free to make more transactions. Just hit the close button when you're done. By the way, I've added my services to the services menu. If you have the gold, you can toggle it on and I'll lower the market refresh rates by 50%. You guys do a lot of services. I don't know if they're worth it or not. All right, let's see how much the dirty Sam is worth. Ah, uh, that was not salmon, that was steel. All right, whatever, we'll, we'll sell the steel as well. Why not? This is actually a lot of money, man. So I'm pretty pumped about this. Uh, we'll get rid of the salmon. I, I don't I, I don't know if I should keep this stuff, but at this point, I'm just like, let's just sell everything. You know, typical RPG style. I don't even want the damn apple, but they say it's cheaper, so you know what? We'll buy all the apples, and I gotta keep a mental note that we bought them for nine gold each, because I don't think it says anywhere, which is a little unfortunate. All right, but we got 636 bucks right now. That is quite a bit, so we are going to increase the passenger limit. You know what, we'll just go down again. Max speed, max weight. Current cap is 28. All right, so we can actually, can we figure out how heavy our train is somewhere? Well, the weight is right here. I think we just gotta add it up ourselves. We don't actually know how much the caboose is though. Is it, does it say in here? All right, so we got two out of three number of cars equipped. So I guess I can equip more cars now. Current weight is only 40%, so we should be fine. And we only got 715 passengers. So in terms of upgrades, we don't really need anything. Let's just upgrade the speed a bit though, just to get places faster. And we still got 286 gold, so we'll get a few of these. We should be able to get most of them now if we get lucky. So come on. Oh, we got the other golden one. Please tell me it's not a duplicate. I don't know if this game has duplicates, but we got the oil tanker. Now, what does, okay, this increases our cargo. So if we wanted to do a cargo run and not a passenger run, that would obviously be a really good one. And what's the Pokeball got? We got fruit cars, man. All right, that's awesome. So does this do anything good? Well, it increases our cargo and it's really freaking heavy. So again, it looks like it's another cargo-like train. Well done, you've collected your first set of cars. Your gumball machine has gained a level and you have a new set to collect. I didn't collect the full set. We still got some down. Oh wait, that's the train and caboose. Okay, that makes sense. I can see the I can see the train now. So, uh, okay, we gotta buy an engine for 800 next. All right, so we we aren't gonna be able to afford that just yet, but uh, that's gonna be our next goal, I guess. All right, let's grab some of this money before I forget. Now we can earn some money on this, but it looks like it doesn't have any. 217 bucks right now, though, not too bad. Uh, at this point, I think it would be smart to do some more upgrades then. All right, so we can't do anything else. Let me just check my logbook real quick and make a stop at Baltimore. So yeah, I think I think we're just gonna make our way over to Baltimore. We should be, yeah, we got two more stops to do and then we'll be there. So 
depart once again and let's get some more money. All right, people are saying cool and talking. Uh, seems like most people seem to be happy. Oh, we got more money. So you gotta be pay attention to this Old West food car because it goes up really, really quickly. Looks like we're almost in Philadelphia. We just got introduced to some more cityscapes in the background here, so that's good. All right, and we're in good old Philadelphia in America. So, uh, did we get, we didn't get any new stuff here. Profit, oh, it does tell me the profit, perfect. Okay, so there's a sale on wood. So we're gonna sell all these, and yeah, we can definitely do some merchanting in this too, which should be fun actually. So I'm gonna buy all that wood, because it's on sale. I gotta assume we're gonna earn some good money here. Yes, I wanna leave the market, and let's grab my money real quick. We should have quite a bit right now. There we go, look at that money stack up. Yeah, we're starting to earn a decent amount now. Uh, again, no, I'm gonna save for the next engine car, I think, but for right now, we got one more station to go to our quest, so let's do that. All right, let's see what the passengers are looking at. This train looks a bit run down. Oh, that actually reminds me. We will fix these up a little bit for them, though. Keep these guys happy. A clean train is a happy train. There we go. Nice and clean. Hopefully, that makes them a little bit happier. Ouch, my back. They're still complaining about the back, so, uh, it looks like 15 requires 60 happiness. Food, comfort, so my comfort is definitely my lowest. So if we can get a nice comfortable train, that'd be great. Uh, facilities is obviously low as well. Uh, we got a dog traveling with us, that's absolutely great. Actually, quite a few people in here, so this is going well. Uh-oh, the Popo is going to get someone. Oh, we're already at full thing again. So they're spending a lot of money on this food train. I'm noticing that real quick. Uh, looks like Dover, uh, we're in farmland right now, freak. Somebody, what, what, what's wrong, lady? Okay, is, does she have any complaints? Can I actually click her? It was Vicky. <gasps> Don't click me. I found a secret. She didn't like that though. I'm, what? What just happened? Okay, so she was complaining about someone. I clicked her and I got an achievement, I think. Did I get an achievement? All right, we're six kilometers out of Dover though. Oh, capture moment. Okay, uh, I'll capture that moment. Looks like uh, Miles to the, Miles the monster. What the hell's Miles the monster? Did, did, did I just miss something? Is it that? Was there something there? I'm so confused, damn it. All right, well, we got a picture and we made it to Dover. Wait, wait where were we? Where do we need to go? I thought it was Dover. Your first VIP passenger. They pay bonus gold. Adding additional cars to your train increases your chances to have VPs on board. Okay. So we got a very important person. And I thought we were heading to Baltimore right now, but we got one more stop before Baltimore. Well, this stop right now, and next one's going to be Baltimore. And yeah, because I need to save the money, let's just hit the road once again. We got some new tickets. Gotta keep things clean to keep them happy. And we got almost full money there, almost full money there. All right, I don't even know how we got almost full money already. I, I, I guess they pay when they get on and then you can collect it whenever you want. All right, so who's our VIP? Oh, we got Beaver here. Beaver doesn't look very happy. He's traveling to Hartford, though. Uh, we're not gonna be in Hartford anytime soon, I don't think. Oh, gotta collect that money. Okay, so this thing fills up so quickly, I'm gonna miss it all the time. Uh, but yeah, we're doing pretty good. We actually got almost a full train of passengers, uh, which is good. 60 happiness, I gotta assume that's pretty good. And we're getting a bonus, so food was okay, nothing exciting. Well, you know what, I'll accept that. But more importantly, here we are in Baltimore. Lance has lined up a great opportunity for us. Could be just what we need to make our mark in USA East. A souvenir company needs us to haul some collectibles to Washington, D.C. for them. If we do a good job, there are other contracts just waiting to roll in. Let's get going. All right, so the next quest is done. Let's collect that money. Let's collect that money. And uh, yeah, we actually might have enough or we're gonna be close to having enough to get our new engine and caboose. Now, should I buy it? Yeah, let's buy the engine now. There we go. 100% max weight if using blue diesel. So I feel like I don't even, or I shouldn't upgrade until I get the caboose. And we only need 200 gold. So you know what? Let's do one more stop and go get that. So here we go on our way to Washington. All aboard. Oh man, a little, little bit of a voice crack there, but yes, we're doing good. Uh, in terms of cleanliness, everything's fine. We're totally good. Oh, the lights turn on. The, the, the train lights turn on. This is just pixel art porn right now, man. I love this game for the art alone. And here we go. We are in Washington, D.C. Let's get right in front of it. Let the smoke go away a little bit. Perfect. Look at that. Going past the White House. 
All right, still 18 kilometers out, but look at that city in the background. It's obviously nighttime right now. Now we're really in the city, as you can see. There we go, we've made it to the station, and we should definitely have enough money now. Delivery complete, the folks at the White House gift shop had almost run out of Lincoln bobbleheads. Oh God, call the press, can't have that happen. The shipping company was really impressed and they are already spreading the word. Well done. Thank you, Gramps, thank you very much. All right, collect that. And we better have 500 bucks right now. You gotta be kidding me. Well, you know we got pizza here, so... Oh God, is it on sale everywhere here? All right, so we're just gonna sell it. And I, we might even lost money there. I don't even care. Because I just want to finish this train, damn it. So buy that caboose, and we should unlock all the new trains now. So that's good. Yes, and there we go. We got a bunch of new trains to unlock. Some of these look pretty damn interesting, gotta be honest. We only got three gold though, so unfortunately we're not gonna buy those just yet. But let's quickly change over and check out the new ones. Not that we can really see it right now. Equip the blue diesel engine, there we go. And equip the blue diesel caboose. Not too shabby, that's pretty good. So uh, yeah, I think we're gonna wrap up this one here, guys. This was once again, Tiny Rails. Now, if you guys do wanna see more, let me know in the comments below. Let me know by hitting that like button. And yeah, I had a really good time playing this. It's nice and relaxing, you know? Games like this is always nice. So yeah, we're gonna wrap it up here. If you wanna know anything more about this game, links will be in the description of this video. As always, guys, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>